Hello and welcome. So today the topic of discussion is in C programming we'll understand array of structure. So in previous video while we were discussing about program of structure we have discussed we when we have were, when we were inserting information of two employees it was getting tough for us to even enter information of two employees what if there are more than two employees in that case we cannot use the traditional method of structure we have to create array of structure what is array of structure see this program so this program will make you understand what array of structure is all about so now let me explain you so we have created that same employee fine having variable having member employee id of integer type name is a character array and salary and now what am i doing is that in main i have created a variable i and now i have created a variable of structure employ and now this variable is not a simple variable this is array of structure this is array of structure if i write only imp then imp will have only one box imp will have only one box having three boxes one represent eid second represent name having 10 boxes and third represent salary but now this imp is not a simple imp this imp is an array of the structure so what actually will happen let me make a memory for you so you will have a great understanding of this imp so a array will be created fine a array will get created what will happen actually so this array will get created 0 1 so something like this will happen this is imp 0 this is imp 1 this is imp 2 this one is imp 3 and this one is imp 4 fine so that is from imp 5 means imp 0 to we have created these five variable of a structure fine and all this variable has three parts one is eid one is name one is name and one is salary and all the name have 10 parts fine all the name have 10 parts all the name is an array so all the name is an array and other one is integer type one is array type and one is float type fine okay now in order to access member of array what do you do you write a loop so you start from 0 less than 5 i is equal to 0 i less than 5 so what value it will have from let me change the color of my pen so it will have value 0 1 2 3 and 4 which is less than 5 so initial value of i will become 0 so it's asking enter employee id it is asking me enter employee id so suppose in my employee id is 752 so what i'll do add the address of imp what is the value of 0 imp 0 this is imp 0 dot eid this is imp 0 eid i am writing 752 and the what is and in second line it is asking enter the name suppose the name is abc so imp 0 name imp 0 name abc will have what is enter the salary and uh, for for string you never use you never use what ampersand enter the salary suppose the salary is 2005 so what will happen imp 0 i will use 0 imp 0 will have 2005 similarly what will happen it will go again up and increment value of i so value of i will now become 1 again it is asking enter the employee id it is asking for second variable so suppose i enter 762 so imp 1 eid imp 1 because a value of i is 1 imp 1 dot eid is 762 2 name is suppose p q r salary is 2007 again a value of i will increment it to 2 then suppose 797 name is x y z and it will ask for because i will keep on increment salary is 1008 fine again it will go value of i will become 3 let this be 892 is employee id name is james j a m e s and the salary is 20000 fine again it will increment to value 4 again it will ask employee id let it be 392 it's asking name let it be anna a n a and let the salary be 30000 
fine again it will increment because now there is no scope of increment we have created we have filled all the variable all the array of structure area of a structure so now the information is complete now we'll access the information so now it will access information from what these memory blocks so student information list so you will have this line i is equal to 0 it will start from 0 so what value it will have 0 1 2 3 4 fine and first of all i will be 0 0 less than 5 yes it will print roll number name and salary of what imp 0 eid this imp imp 0 name this and imp 0 salary this that is it will print something like that that is roll either instead of roll it should have employee id i suppose eid so it will print something like this eid is it's a colon so it will print eid colon 752 then it will print name colon abc for first for i'm talking of this first and salary s a l a r y salary colon 2005 Again, what will happen? The value of i will increment to 1. So now it will print imp1 uh, imp1 eid, which is 762, imp1 name, which is pqr, imp1 salary, which is 2005. So what will happen? eid 762 name pqr salary 2007 similarly the value of i will keep on incrementing at last value of i will become 4 so the fourth value is 392 fine name is ana a n a and salary is 30000 fine hope you understand 30000 so this will have dot 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 this will have again dot 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 fine so this is how we have created array of structure so array of structure is basically used for creating database fine so at last i'll say what thank you so 